The difference between direct property and direct shares. Direct property and direct shares are among the most popular investments to own. They both provide an investment term, but let's explore the pros and cons of both asset class. First up, direct property investment. For the purposes of this podcast, we'll discuss the advantages and disadvantages of residential property. A residential property includes houses, units, apartments, and townhouses. Advantages of direct property. One, income is received through rent. When tenanted, it is usually charged weekly and received monthly. Two, the capital growth is achieved through the property value increasing. Unlike shares, property isn't valued daily, so in order to have an accurate valuation, you need to pay for it. Three, with a combination of income and capital growth, property is deemed a more moderate risk compared to direct shares. Four, Tax benefits come from the benefits of tax depreciation. These benefits can comfortably exceed 10000 in a financial year. This depends on the age of the property. The newer the property, the greater the tax depreciation entitlement. 5. You have greater control over the asset. This means you can choose your tenant, property location and even how you want to sell it or when you want to sell it, regardless of the market price. 6. Direct property is tangible in comparison to direct shares. You can drive past it at any given time. Disadvantages of direct property. One, affordability is the most common barrier. Most require a loan from the bank to purchase. When a loan is acquired for investment, it magnifies the gains and losses. You need to be risk tolerant as it increases the volatility. Two, Property maintenance can be expensive, especially for older properties. Three, but property expenses can also be costly. For example, owners, corporation fees of applicable rates, etc. Four, selling direct property takes a longer time than direct shares. Five, the real estate fees to sell the direct property are significantly higher than the brokerage for direct shares. Now, secondly, direct shares. For the purposes of this podcast, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of direct shares. This excludes other forms of investments and strategies that can be bought on the Australian Stock Exchange. Advantages of direct shares. Direct shares are easy to buy through online trading portals such as Comsec. Two, you can invest smaller amounts compared to direct property. You can purchase as little as $100 if you choose. This asset class is easily accessible. Three, capital growth is generated with the company's unit price as it increases. Four, the transaction fees are low, making it much cheaper to buy and sell than direct property. Five, prices are valued daily, providing transparency. Assessing unit prices is readily available. Six, direct shares provide income through dividends. Dividends are a share of the company's profits. 7. Tax benefits are received through franking credits. As a company has already paid tax on the profit, paid out as a dividend, you're entitled to receive a tax credit. The last one, finally, once you've bought your shares, there are no ongoing expenses unless you are receiving ongoing professional advice. Disadvantages of direct shares. Dividends are generally received every six months or annually. This is less frequent to direct property, which receives it on a monthly basis. Two, direct shares are deemed to be more risky than property investment. Prices move daily and can change due to market movements beyond your control. For example, big fund managers will sell to capitalise a profit for their unit holders. For other existing shareholders, this can cause a negative return due to a large sell-off. Poor financial results from a company can also cause a price fall. Three, if you are a growth investor with a risk tolerance in borrowing to invest, it is very difficult to obtain a loan to buy direct shares. Four, the majority of direct share investors do not have control over the investment performance. The company makes its own decisions in how it operates and if it wants to pay out dividends. Whether you're into direct property or direct shares, professional advice is always well warranted. At Crest Property Investments, we are very passionate to property investment. If you want to explore your options and buy an investment property, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can contact us through our website at www.crestproperty.net.au.
Thanks for listening.